Pennsylvania League of Angling Youth, Summer 2010. Written by Jim D'Alessandro, Christy Niekamp, and Miranda Smith. Edited by Spring Gerhardt. Design and illustrations by Alice Forsman. Photos from the Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission archives. Gregory Ish Polins, Miranda Smith, and Dennis Tubbs. Read by Miranda Smith. Back to basics, paddling techniques. In earlier issues of play, you learned about the basics of boating gear and safety when on the water. In this issue, you'll learn more about canoes and kayaks. You'll discover how to launch and land, how to use different paddling techniques, and how to read the water. Are you ready to paddle? Let's go. Before you board, there are a few steps that should be taken before boarding and launching your boat. Tell someone when you are going and when you'll return. Wear the proper shoes and clothing. Plan to get wet. Remember, cold water is dangerous. Take supplies such as a small first aid kit, a whistle or other sounding device, a container of sunscreen, a snack, and a bottle of drinking water. Wear a life jacket or a PFD personal flotation device that fits you properly. Take a friend, never paddle alone. Loading your boat. Load your gear first. Be sure not to overload your boat. Never launch in waters that look unsafe to swim in. Canoes. 1. Board your canoe only when it is fully supported by the water. 2. The paddler who will be seated in the back of the canoe boards first. 3. Stay low. Keep three points of contact at all times. Always stay low, move slow, and keep three points of contact when loading and unloading your boat. Get moving. Canoes. How to hold your paddle. Learning how to move and steer your boat is an important skill to practice. Basic paddling strokes will get you where you want to go. Paddling strokes will also help you avoid hazards in the water. Forward stroke moves the canoe forward. Holding the paddle vertical to the boat, place the blade in the water in front of you. Pull the paddle back towards you in a straight line. Once the blade reaches your hips, bring it out of the water. Backstroke moves the canoe backwards. Holding the paddle vertical to the boat, place the blade in the water behind you. Pull the paddle towards you in a straight line. Once the blade reaches your body, bring it out of the water. Pry pushes the canoe from the side you are paddling on. Rotate your upper body towards the side from which you are going to paddle. Turn the paddle so the blade is parallel or same direction to your canoe. Place the blade in the water vertically alongside the canoe. Push the paddle away from the canoe. Draw. Pulls the canoe towards the side you are paddling on. Rotate your upper body towards the direction you are going to move the canoe. Turn the paddle so the blade is parallel to your canoe. 
Without leaning your shoulders outside the gunwale, plant the blade in the water away from the canoe. Pull the paddle towards the canoe. Canoeing takes teamwork. The canoe will turn in the opposite direction of the side you are paddling. To move the canoe straight ahead, both people should paddle on opposite sides. Remember, the person sitting in the front of the canoe cannot see the paddler in the back. If you are in the back of the canoe, be sure to tell the front paddler when a change in paddling stroke is needed. Get moving. Kayaks. How to hold your paddle. Unlike a canoe paddle, most kayak paddles have curved blades. They also have a top and a bottom. Hold the paddle with both hands. The blades should be curved towards you. The distance between your hands should be a little wider than your shoulders. Forward stroke moves the kayak forward. Rotate your upper body by twisting at your waist and place the blade in the water near your feet. Uncoil your body as you pull the blade towards you. Once the blade reaches your hips, bring it out of the water. Repeat step one on the opposite side. Reverse stroke moves the kayak backwards. Rotate your upper body by twisting at your waist. Place the blade in the water near your hips. Uncoil your body as you push the blade towards the bow or front of the kayak. Once the blade reaches to about your knees, bring it out of the water. Repeat step one on the opposite side. Draw moves the kayak towards the side you are paddling on. Rotate your upper body towards the side you are going to move the kayak. Turn the paddle so the blade is parallel or the same direction to your kayak. Without leaning your shoulders outside the gunwale, reach and place the blade in the water away from the kayak. Your opposite hand should be raised high above your head. Pull the blade towards the kayak. Bring the blade out of the water before it touches the kayak. Sweep moves the kayak towards the left or right while moving forward. Rotate your upper body by twisting at your waist and place the blade in the water near your feet. Uncoil your body as you pull the blade in an arc or half circle away from the kayak. Once the blade reaches your hips, bring it out of the water. Around the bend. As a boater, be aware of what's around you. Look ahead. This is called reading the water. Reading the water helps boaters avoid obstacles. Paddling around a bend in a waterway seems easy, and it can be if you know the right way to do it. Steer your boat, staying to the inside of the bend. The current along the outside of the bend is strong and can push you ashore. The calm area of water just downstream of an obstruction is called an eddy. If your boat gets caught in an eddy, it can be difficult to paddle out. When passing in between obstructions on the water, such as large rocks, look ahead for the V. The current of the water creates a V, allowing you to pass obstruction safely. While reading this issue, you may have noticed some words were highlighted. Use these words to fill in the blanks and complete the words below. 
Then use the numbered letters to finish the sentence and reveal the secret message. K blank two Y A blank O blank S blank fourteen R U C T blank O N S F blank O T B blank ten A C blank S C blank twelve N O blank blank T R blank eight K E S B blank A blank three E S blank one A D blank L I N blank nineteen blank twenty A Z blank twenty two R D S blank twenty one F D blank five A U N C blank fifteen blank eighteen N S A blank E blank T E E blank sixteen E D D blank thirteen O V blank six R L O A blank four B blank seventeen A T C blank nine R R E blank T blank eleven A T E blank W A blank seven fill in the secret message word one are blanks number one to six the second word consists of blanks seven to ten the third word is blank number eleven to thirteen the fourth word is blank number fourteen to twenty and the last word is blank 21 to 22. Did you know Pennsylvania has over 83,000 miles of rivers and streams? That is equal to traveling around the earth more than three times. Our state has over 4,000 lakes, ponds, and reservoirs. There's plenty of Pennsylvania water to explore through safe paddling. For more information, visit www.fishandboat.com, www.acanet.org, www.rbff.org www.safeboatingcouncil.org and www.boatingsidekicks.com The answer to the secret message is Paddle Your Way Through PA